Good morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is Trucker Rooney coming to you this fine morning. That's right, most of you guys know that, but for the people that are just joining in, they don't know, you know. So here we are. We're just getting our day started here in Williamtown, uh, Illinois. I'm looking at a pretty old classic truck over there. International, a blue one there. Yeah, we had us a very good night rest. And uh, I got me a reload, picking up out of Michigan after I deliver my load in uh, Windsor, Ontario. So uh, I looked at that yesterday and it's only to be picked up at 20, uh, 2100 tonight. That is nine o'clock. So I said, well, no need me rushing to get down to Windsor and make it over to Michigan then, right? So I decided I stop in early over here and uh, sleep in a little bit this morning. I mean, it's about uh, quarter to seven right now, so uh, it's kind of early still, but I figured, you know what? Um, done with sleeping so I'm gonna get out of here let's make our way down to Windsor Ontario and drop this trailer up at least over there we just got to drop it and then we pick up an empty from there and then we go to Michigan that's right and I talked to another driver yesterday that's been there before and uh, I kind of thought I had heard him Take talk the about that the before so North. I figured I would call him up and see how it goes over there you know that's the nice thing about having a bunch of drivers uh, working for the same company that you might know you know if you're going to a place that whatever you know you can call them up and say hey you've been there before yep yep yeah and they're going to tell you everything about it right 600 feet take the entrance to the left on i-55 north so that's what happened here yesterday so i called him up and he said yeah over there you just uh you go there you drop your trailer you let the shunkyard driver know that you dropped the trailer and then uh and then it's a waiting game you gotta wait there probably four or five hours he said before your trailer will be ready so uh, so that means uh, whatever even if I get there earlier I mean my trailer ain't gonna be ready before my 14 hour window is over so and he said what he did last time he just slept in the yard there so what I was thinking of doing is uh, just going in there And then uh, dropping my trailer, go down to the bobtail section. On this road for nine miles. Just go to bed. Have my 10 hours off. After my 10 hours is off, go check to see if the trailer is uh, loaded yet. If it is, then we can just get up early in the morning and basically get out of there, right? So that's what we're going to be doing. But we are only about 10 miles to. Uh, I-80 and so we'll be taking that over to 94. I didn't go through Chicago yesterday and that was the reason why because I decided you know what I don't really need to push it that hard if I only pick up my load there overnight so no big deal right and this load that I'm delivering is not in a rush either it uh, as long as I drop it there today it's no big deal so Anytime today is when I can deliver my load over there, so yeah, looks like another beautiful, gorgeous morning. Yep, so let's make our way towards where we gotta be, and we'll show you as much as we can possibly do today. We still have 318 miles to go up to Windsor, it's not like we don't have any driving to do. So that means we got 500 uh, kilometers to go, so a little over five hours of driving. By the time we do our trailer switch and all of that, and then I got a request to uh, get my border set up. 
to come back into the United States and then I gotta come back so today is Friday I believe shouldn't be too bad of a traffic going back into the United States though today because it's Friday everybody wants to come back to Canada today nobody really wants to go home today that's what I experienced before like on a Friday if I cross the border there in winter hardly anybody at the border like no line up there might be a little bit of a lineup if there's a long weekend and if it's uh, you know for the cars but nothing really for trucks so so yeah anyways enough of me yapping I am now only about 10 more miles away from Kalamazoo Michigan yeah we're just cruising right along here we've been going now for about three hours now and it's giving her already way past Chicago and all that stuff looks like we got a four-wheeler one to come onto the highway here so we'll uh, let him get onto the highway here remember it's a Ford he can't get up to speed real fast right <laughs> sorry for you Ford lovers <laughs> I always make fun of Ford I don't know why don't don't got nothing against Ford I just you know there's so many jokes about Ford trucks and stuff like that that I make a little fun here and there about Ford so don't take it the wrong way <laughs> yeah we all have our favorite cars that we like right everybody's got their favorite brand same thing as uh, somebody might say I'm a big fan of Volvo well that might be the case but I also like Kenwood right I think I said that on one of the other videos that I do enjoy uh, a nice Kenwood truck <laughs> but yeah we all have our uh, favorite type of vehicles that we like and all that good stuff we have our favorite things in life right everybody has it it doesn't mean that one is better than the other it just means that we like one better than the other <laughs> <laughs> yeah but anyways we're just giving her today just cruising having fun was on the phone with uh, jukebox earlier and also Angelo yep he's back on long haul now too so uh, yeah He's finally able to talk a little bit more so we were joking around having some good fun there so that puts a smile on my face joking around with him a little bit but yeah we still have us another 147 miles to go to our delivery so about another two and a half hours we'll be there or maybe a little bit better than two and a half probably two and three quarters because uh got to get across the border yet right so that could be a little bit of a lineup today is Friday everybody wants to go back to Canada so going that way could be a little bit of a lineup although I mean by the time we get there be around lunchtime and I don't think it should be too bad might start to back up a little bit but come four o'clock this afternoon it's going to be a long line up there trying to get back into Canada but then again it might already be who knows but we'll find out later I guess but yeah in a few miles here this is Kalamazoo already actually where I'm at mile marker 80 right now so this is part of Kalamazoo right around this bend is where uh, I had a mishap one time many many years ago but yeah we're just giving her and enjoying the day that's all there is to it right all right ladies and gentlemen it looks like our chicken house is open up here by grass lake michigan although this is going to be the last scale anyways before we get back into canada and we don't have no scale so close to the border so uh we won't have to worry about a scale in canada but yeah we gotta go over this chicken house here it says 25 between 25 and 15 miles an hour so I guess we'll slow her down a little bit keep a little bit of a distance between us and another truck yeah that's right 
let's see what they're gonna tell us today I'm sure they're gonna give us the bypass lane but we'll see because we're pretty light anyway so shouldn't really give us the coming onto the scale unless they really are crazy and they want to inspect us maybe then but as of right now I'm just gonna open up my window a little bit so if they do scream on us then uh, then we'll know it says keep lights on oh keep lights on oh, okay all right we'll keep the lights on then so that way they know all right yeah grass lake it says right there on the building so let's keep an eye on it see if they're going to scream at us or not yeah they're giving us an arrow to go back on the interstate so we'll do that before they change their mind welcome back to canada ladies and gentlemen here in a second we will be entering canada this is the ambassador bridge yeah look at that beautiful river we got up there nice green water today very nice calm water too today yeah looks very good well yeah here we go crossing the border right about now going into Ontario make sure my CB radio is off and all that good stuff so crossing border there we go. Ontario now we are officially in Ontario that's right so let's go ahead and uh, get through customs and then we'll see you guys on the other side here we are in the Windsor area now yes indeed we gotta cross the border no problem so now we gotta go uh, get to our delivery place which is not too far from here actually only another 14 kilometers so about 10 miles a little less than 10 miles but 10 miles probably from the border but yeah so here we are we gotta go uh, on this exact road that you see the sign up here except I gotta go that way not the right that way zero expressways. I gotta go up here and make my turn up here and go on on over this overpass go down here for a little bit and then we'll be at our delivery place I'm kind of curious if my trailer is still going to be there the one that they told me that I'm supposed to pick up they told me which empty I'm supposed to pick up so hopefully that's still there that way we can go ahead and pick that up and then I'll probably go down to the truck stop and update my website and do all of that good stuff so that way you guys know where we're heading right but yeah, so let's go ahead and do our delivery and then we'll go from there. I have just finished doing my trailer switch here in Windsor. Now we're going to go over there to the uh, Husky truck stop. And we'll wait for our border crossing to clear and meanwhile we're going to go ahead and update our website. I'm going to go ahead and uh, maybe grab us a bite to eat. So that way we're not so hungry anymore. That's right. And hopefully by that time they'll have uh, done our ace up for us so we can cross the border. That would be kind of nice, wouldn't it? I hope so. So let's get on down over to the Husky. We got us about 12 kilometers to go. That's not too crazy far, but a little distance to go nothing crazy here we are coming into Kalamazoo Michigan yeah that's right we're in the uh, business route already I guess they call it up here so we're going to make our way down towards our uh, pickup see if we can find it that's always another thing, right? You gotta be able to find it. Otherwise you can't pick up your load, right? But that sun is just super bright today. Right into my eyes there. Pretty much all the way along 94 I was driving right into the sunlight already. It's kind of open I could able, could be able to uh, go 
away from the sun a little bit, but now that's super bright again. <laughs> oh well. East Michigan Avenue. Yeah, we should be turning away from it here in a little bit, looks like. But yeah, we're only about two miles from it, so we shouldn't be too far from it. We're just gonna have to keep our eyes on uh, where we're going and then uh, we'll be able to get to our place of pickup, right? And because I wasted a few hours there in uh, Windsor, I'm only going to be here around 8 o'clock Eastern Time. Well, it's actually saying 10 to 8. I should be there, so... So, yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, wow, they got some old classic trucks over there. I don't know if you guys got to see it or not, but... Yeah, here we are. At downtown Kalamazoo, Michigan. That's right, where we went through this morning. I remember this place, I think. Yep, I know exactly this place. Yep, I spent uh, a day here one time in this town and I was at that repair shop getting the truck fixed, although it wasn't my truck at the time, it was somebody else's truck. I recognized that right away. Yeah, I remember that place is still around so that's awesome to see all right guys i'm trying to keep you guys out of the sun <laughs> the sun is coming right from behind me right where we're just taking a little, a little bit of a walk we got the river right down there and that river smells kind of funny got a little bit of a park over here and we're actually going to go right over the uh over the uh, river it says this trail is open 7 a.m. to sundown basically so well yeah we dropped our trailer over there and our truck parked it on the side there and we're just gonna go for a little walk since uh, I've been told it's taken a while here to get loaded so figured you know what this goes for a little bit of a walk I saw a McDonald's down the road there and kind of need to use the bathroom and they don't really have a bathroom over here so figure may as well but look at this interesting bridge that they built over here just for the trail you know look at that they got the road over there we just came over that one there a few minutes ago yeah look at that guys that's awesome mile marker 63 oh yeah somebody driving down here with loud music but yeah Highway right there, a little bit over river right down here, and I gotta go. I really do gotta go use the restroom, so don't really have time to videotape in here too much. But anyways, maybe on our way back we'll be still daylight out there, and then we'll be able to show you a little bit more. But let's go over there, take care of business. As you guys can see, I am back in the truck. Yeah, look at that, eh? And our trailer is already loaded just as I was walking up to my truck here. He come in flying in here and he dropped my trailer. He had already picked it up and went and loaded it and heh, so we we're already loaded. So I asked him if I can stay here for the night and he said, yeah, no problem. As long as you're not hooked up to the trailer, he can stay here as long as you want, he said. So I said, well, then let's go to sleep and then we'll get up early in the morning, tomorrow morning and get out here, right? that's the plan anyway so uh with that being said we won't waste too much time here yapping away or whatever and then we'll uh, talk to you guys again tomorrow appreciate you guys tuning in today we really do like that thank you very much and we'll see you right here tomorrow morning on the trucker rudy show thank you for watching behind me that day is gonna come